Hey home bakers, it's Jack here, bakewithjack.co.uk, bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And today I want to address what is a Bannerton basket. Hmm. Hey you guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, thank you so much for coming along. Uh, I try and share a little bit of my bread making wisdom with you every single week because I believe that 95% of the success of your bread comes from the little bits and bobs that you need to know, not necessarily what's written on a page in a recipe. That's where the real skill comes from and if you build up that knowledge from these little tidbit videos I bring every single week, I believe you can make amazing bread at home. Right, let's get to it. Banneton baskets. Okay, so what is a banneton? Right? A banneton is this, or you can call it a proven basket, or you can call it a banneton basket. That's what I call it. Uh, it's this, basically. Essentially, it's a basket. It's just a little basket made out of cane, and this is what we use to prove breads in. Now, this comes in really handy with sourdoughs and really wet doughs and stuff like that because it provides a bit of support in the proving stage of your loaf. If you want to make a round loaf, for this one example, you build the tension in that other video I did ages ago, I'll link it up here if you didn't see it or put it underneath. Uh, you build the tension in the loaf and put it inside here, upside down with the seam side on the top. And then when it comes to baking, it proves up in here, having all the support of the basket so it doesn't spread. You flip it upside down onto a tray and you bake it either on a hot stone or on the tray that it's on. Right, so it just provides support along the way. Now you can get these in lots of different shapes. This one is a round one, uh, obviously, because it's round. You get a short one like this. These are quite nice as well. Nice. And this is also how you get the lines on the dough and the spirals in that round one, if you saw that. You get the spirals too. That's awesome on the outside. And also, a long one like that. Now you get these all shapes and sizes. You get a ring one, that's really cool. I really want one of those ring ones with a little thing in the middle to keep it nice, like a ring. You get a triangular one, I think that's a little bit weird. But you get them all with different shapes and sizes. When they arrive, they should come with a little hat like this. It's a little, little uh, shower cap sort of thing made out of cloth. So what you can do is dust your loaf nicely, dust your basket nicely and rest it in the basket upside down. You can either do it on the actual wood so you get the nice markings or, one sec, or you can put the cloth inside like this and rest it on the cloth and then you get a bit of a different look, but you've still got to dust the cloth. What I like to do is rest it inside of the basket on the wood, actually on the directly on the wood, and then I put the little hatty on top like that just to cover it over. That's quite nice, I quite like that. <laughs> now you don't have to use this exclusively for wet doughs, high hydration doughs, or you can make normal loaves of bread and pop it in one of these bad boys. And then just when you get that really nice look, you get the little swells in the dough and you get like the stripes or whatever. You can do it with a straight dough and I quite like to do that too. But remember when you are dusting up dough, uh, regular flour, if you're using the flour that you use to make the bread, like white flour, the dough might take on that flour and then it might become sticky and stick to this. The best thing to do is use something coarse like a wholemeal flour. Some people use semolina, I quite like using semolina recently, or rice flour, something that the dough is not gonna take on and then become sticky again, especially if it's gonna be in there for a long time, depending on your recipe. So there you have it, that's what a proving basket is or a banneton basket. If you don't have one, uh, buy one. And if you don't have one and you need one but you can't buy one, get yourself a colander. Get yourself a nice colander because it's got holes in, put a cloth in it, dust it nicely and use that. But nothing compares to the beautiful, natural, wood and cane, wonderful banneton basket like this. It's breathable, it's wonderful and you get those beautiful patterns on the outside of your loaf. As always, thank you so much for being here. If you've enjoyed this video, if it's helped you out, please do click that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to see me here next week. And for those of you who see me here every week, thank you very much for seeing me here every week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Woohoo! See ya!